What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I am Liz. I am a faith mama, military wife, and lover of all things life. So thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a subscriber, thank you for coming back again. You have no idea how much I appreciate your love and support, and I am so glad that you are part of my tribe. So today's video is a nest with me. Your girl is real pregnant, right? Real, real pregnant. So I'm going to show you just kind of some of the things that we are doing to get ready for baby. Um, so feel free to come along. Oh, let me show you the belly real quick. Please excuse the dirty mirror. Super dirty mirror. And I'll show you everything that we have going here. So I have to set this up with all of baby stuff. This is a bin full of baby stuff. We have the crib set up. My husband has set that up for me, but I got to get it all ready with baby stuff. More baby stuff here. I'm going to switch out some of the decorations on that chair. That table is actually going to be kind of for my um, breastfeeding like in the night and when I start to pump eventually. I'm mean, going to be for this. So, you know, we're not doing a full-on nursery because we are getting ready to PCS soon. And so you can see that baby will be in our room. And our room is kind of a mess, so excuse the mess. Um, but over here, I have totally taken over Daddy's dresser and put all of my stuff on here. So I will just be getting organized. Feel free to come along. sleeping or something okay here come help me okay so we're gonna put like these soft cloths okay. in one pile okay and the so other hard through them in the other high cloth in the other pile mm -hmm. we're gonna just these are like burnt cloths so we're gonna put those in one pile we're gonna put brothers clothes in another pile okay Is this yep, soft? that's a soft cloth that'll go there so as you can see, I have my little helper, my daughter Kaya, um, to help me with sorting and getting everything set up. So some people say, girl, your daughter is in kindergarten, she is five, you are crazy starting all over. And part of me does feel crazy, um, but then the other part of me like lives for these times because she just wants to help, she just wants to be a part of it, and I know that she will be an amazing helper. Um, whenever baby is born she's already so excited to get the diapers she says she's not changing any diapers but she's so excited to help her mama out and so it's just something so sweet and to see her kind of just light up at the thought of having a little brother and teaching him and showing him different things and being able to help her mama basically going to set up that little I don't even know what you would call that it's kind of like a dresser it's not really a dresser a cubby not so much I don't know but basically with diaper changing supplies and all of his clothes I have had that for a very long time it's actually from Walmart I think it's the munchkin brand um, but it has lasted a long time I've had it since my daughter was born my sweet girl is helping me put everything where it needs to be and this will pay off because when mom is downstairs and says hey go get me a towel or go get me a onesie or whatever she's gonna know Yeah. 
That's what holding him? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Grab those sleepers. Isn't she just the sweetest, y'all? <laughs> I'm very blessed to have Kaya as my daughter. She is amazing. setting up um, his baby monitor obviously he'll, he's sleeping in our room so we don't need it at night but when he's taking naps and I'm downstairs doing something with my daughter Kaya or cooking or whatever it might be obviously I'm gonna need a baby monitor for that and this was off of Amazon super cheap so far I like it I will um, link it down below so that you guys can check it out if you want Slip cover that I just took off and the one that I am about to put on is from Amazon as well. Anything that I bought off of Amazon, I will just link it down below again to make it easy in case you guys like anything. But y'all, this chair kicked my pregnant behind trying to put the cover on. Your girl was on the struggle bus. this would have been much easier to do if it was pulled out further from the wall <laughs> you see I was struggling but if it was pulled out further from the wall it would have been much easier to do but your girl likes to do things the difficult way and there my daughter is showing me you're gonna use this when you rock the baby and feed him at night <laughs> yes I am so now I'm just setting up my breastfeeding slash um, pumping station, right? So I have my breast pump, I have my nipple butter, my breast pads are going into that little bag, as well as we found, or and I registered for like the BAM, no, the boobies pumping lubricant, right? Because sometimes that can be painful. So um, just putting everything that I need for breastfeeding or breast pumping. I do need to get my boppy out of storage and it'll probably just go right next to that chair or behind the chair to use whenever I am feeding him. Okay, so this is the finished product of my nesting as you saw my daughter was helping me out now I will show you you know it's not gonna be all glamorous like many nurseries so I have oop, focus our Lilla baby carrier right there just hanging up until we need it obviously when we move we'll have him in his own room and it will be set up much more um, cute and organized but this works we're also you know gonna be much more minimalist this time this is our second baby so we kind of know what we need and don't need so in this I've actually had this since um, I had my daughter actually we used this with her when she was first born so in the top I just have his diapers some wipes and some Bedros butt paste we have his little socks and a bunch of um, soft well here's like a long swaddler and then some soft like burp cloths or really whatever you want to use them for get down here 
and here is all of his sleepers so we have like these little gowns which I highly recommend um, whether you have a boy or a girl it's open at the bottom and it makes it so easy when they're sleeping to go ahead and change their diaper easily and then we have the footed pajamas here too and then there's some of his clothes right uh, his little pants and his little shirts they're not all super neatly in there but it will do down here we have the extra diapers we have towels and an extra blanket if need be then coming over here we have his crib set up and my daughter put this in there obviously like I said I am a second time mom so don't try to shame me in the comments obviously pillows and stuffed animals are coming out when the baby goes in there duh I know these things but here we go that is his crib set up who that and then over here I kind of have my breastfeeding station right so we have my pump when it's time my bags we have the nipple butter the haka breast pump to stick on one side and then my washable overnight nursing pads and then we have the seat that I can kind of just breastfeed him in throughout the evening I'm gonna pull my covers and show you down here look at that just some extra stuff um, so my leftover nursing pads as I need them within reach my massager and then you've probably been hearing this beep the entire time um, but that's the baby monitor that's been set up and it's charging but the camera is off over here which is why it's making that beeping noise so there you have it our little one-sided part of our nursery so we do have a two-story home so right now in our living room I'm basically just putting together a little box with um, diaper changing supplies as well as a basket with a um, sleep sack, a burp cloth, and a blanket and a little um, lovey in there. So in here is just kind of, I guess, comfort station? I don't even know. Um, but basically I have a blanket in here. I have some nursing pads for if I need to change them. Just a little lovey, a swaddler, and um, just a burp cloth. I'll probably fill it with other things later, but it's downstairs in our living room. And then I have this. This is for, <laughs> gotta throw that away. Um, this is kind of our diaper changing station downstairs. So we have a changing pad, some wipes, some diapers, and some rash cream in case we need it. Take that out there. But I am just going to tuck this right up under here in our TV console. Alright guys, that is the end of my Nest With Me video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Um, I just had one more thing to say. Well, first of all, the only thing left that we have to do is to put the car seat in the car. Um, so that's pretty much it. But a tip for you guys when you're setting up and nesting and doing all of those things is one, you do, I, it's very tempting to wash everything right away. Um, so wash like your blankets, sheets, things like that, right? But when it comes to clothes, you don't want to wash like all your newborn stuff because who knows if your newborn baby is actually going to fit in into that size clothing because um, babies can be born bigger than newborn size right and once you wash it and take all the tags off you can't really exchange it or get your money back so that is a tip for you just wash a couple of newborn things that you're perfectly fine with them not fitting in and not getting your money back on I guess um, and then Maybe wash the bigger things like zero to three months that they may fit in a little bit easier. Um, the next thing is don't forget to set up like postpartum stations for yourself throughout your home. So we have a two-story home. So what I have done is in our guest bath, our half bath downstairs, I do have jumbo pads within reach from the toilet, right? The next two things I haven't put in there yet because I do need to take them to the hospital with me is um, tux pads and I do have this Freedom Mom perennial healing foam. Normally your hospital does provide these tux. My hospital did provide it the first time, but unfortunately with the virus and everything going on, um, supplies are limited. So I just wanted to take this because I knew that these were awesome for me after um, having my baby the first time. And then this too, they don't provide this. I think they provide like Dermaplast or some sort of other numbing agent. I decided to bring this with me, but when we get home, both of these items will go um, in the bathroom. 
So one final thing that I do want to say about washing the clothes, a lot of times we're tempted to wash our clothes in the baby wash, the draft, it smells so wonderful. Um, but if you are short on funds, there's nothing wrong with washing it with your regular clothes. Why? Because we hold baby up to ourselves, right? So unless you're washing all of your clothes in baby wash and special wash, it's kind of pointless because they're still making contact with your detergent. So that's just something else to think about. Um, so postpartum kits throughout the home, right? Downstairs, upstairs, jumbo pads within reaching distance from the toilet. Um, your hospital will give you a peri bottle to use. Um, so definitely take that home with you and keep that in the bathroom. See if you can snag an extra one if you have multiple bathrooms. That way you're not running back and forth trying to get your peri bottle when you need to uh, take care of yourself down under, right? So those are my tips for you. I hope that you kind of liked our little nursery setup, setup in our master bedroom. I will do an update when we move and we have an actual nursery for my son. Um, but until next time, make sure that if you like this content, you hit the thumbs up, that you subscribe and join my tribe. And again, until next time, later loves.